hi chris gain here and in this video i'm basically going to be talking about um, something called leverage how to leverage browser caching now uh, before i go into that um, i just want to quickly say that i haven't done a, a video for a while so um, this is a, a video um, that i'm going to do so um, basically uh, what is uh, browser caching well basically um, when a, a person comes to your website and they first load your website effectively um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that the, the browser has to, to to load effectively like your logo for example the text obviously images um, uh, and uh, plugins if you're using WordPress it has to load plugins as well so uh, it has to load a lot of JavaScript as well if you have a lot of JavaScript uh, plugins etc um, now basically browser caching makes your uh, website if you leverage browser caching it makes your website load faster because what what browser caching effectively does is um, when a, a person uh, goes to another page on your website uh, and clicks on so if it if they click on a link for example to another page <clears throat> if you're if you've optimized your website for browser caching effectively what you've done is made the website remember what what's already been loaded so that it takes uh, less time to load so that's effectively what browser caching is basically just uh, a memory a memory filter if you like that will make uh, your website load faster if you uh, if you if you leverage it so how do you leverage it well this is how you leverage it there's basically um, now depend I'm in my uh, file transfer protocol at the moment my FTP I use um, go FTP uh, but you might use uh, FileZilla or something similar so go to your FTP now <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to find effectively we go to um, the public HTML of your website the, uh, and the end name which is obviously mine is Chris Gainus but yours would be whatever it, your website is called and basically we go to this file here it's called you have to look for it but it's called .ht access and now what we do uh, now assuming you can edit edit this, this you can edit this file um, in any type of um, uh, f uh, what, whatever you want to whatever f um, editor you've got whether it's notepad or um, composer or whatever it might be you can edit it hit uh, but I'm just gonna basically view this in notepad and effectively what you'll want to do is when you leverage browser caching you'll basically you'll want to basically get this code this code can be found on a website called feed the bot now basically all you do is put this code in here so what we're going to do is put this code in so we're going to copy and paste this code and then you put this code effectively at the top where this uh, has um, begun <coughs> where this starts you are effectively are going to copy and paste that into your web page and then basically once you've um, I've already done this so I don't need to, to do this but um, basically you'll copy and paste the code into your web page and then you'll click on file and you'll go to save as and you'll obviously name it the same file .ht access and then uh, you'll obviously save the changes and then you'll upload this file back into your hosting account uh, which would so your file would be for example here uh, somewhere here uh, my file is for example 
there's there's the file and then we would drag that file into this uh, we would drag the file into that into this is remember the right side of the FTP is is your hosting account effectively your servers hosting account host servers account rather and this is uh, all the documents on your desktop the left side so we drag that into there now uh, and then once once you've done that you can go to um, a website called GT metrics or you can go to um, page speed Google page speed insights which I'll just get up here and once um, this is analyzed it should tell you that your uh, browser is leveraged for browser caching and look mine is leveraged for browser caching and it's got the green tick on it obviously there's other um, yeah you see my desktop site is leveraged for browser caching my images are optimized uh, my JavaScript is minified um, so it's a nice uh, percentage for the desktop um, the mobile site needs a little bit of work but um, just for the desktop site the um, browser caching now means that when a web when someone goes to another different page of my website they will be able to actually uh, it will load faster because it will have less memory to um, it will have less things to remember okay so that that was a sh uh, this is a short video on browser caching um, I hope you found it uh, a useful video and um, if you um, think someone else would benefit from this video then um, basically uh, leave a comment underneath this video or um, share it in your social networks by um, clicking like on Facebook or sharing it on Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or anywhere else Okay, so uh, this is Chris Gaynor uh, signing off for this video, and I'll speak to you soon in another video. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.